a little progress each day adds up to big results. A quote from Satya Nani. Good day everyone! My name is Vera Messi O. Omadle. I am the representative of our group from Grade 12 St. Agatha to discuss our research study. Before moving on, I would like to present my co-researcher, Alimes Jean Jess G, Galieto Anthony Lee, Misayas Christian Jacoti, and Kiao Liuj Andreas. Our research title is A Comparative Study of Papaya, Guava, and Taro Leaves Extract as Corrosion Inhibitor. Moving forward, let me present to you our introduction. In this study, papaya, guava, taro leaves extracts are sought to be used in testing which extract are the most effective in removing corrosion. Also, these leaves are very abundant to most of the areas in the research local, Nabunturan, Davao de Oro. The purpose of this research study is to determine the effectiveness of which plant is effective for the corrosion inhibition of the mild steel. The researchers chose this study because inorganic inhibitors have been used in many industrial processes for corrosion protection. But due to the expense and toxicity, the focus is now shifting to more environmentally friendly inhibitors. State of the problem in this study, the researchers sought to test the extract of papaya, guava, and taro leaves as potential corrosion inhibitor for mild scare coupon and 2M hydrochloric acidic medium. This research will utilize the quantitative experimental research design, a study in which an intervention is deliberately introduced to observe its effects as defined by Shadish et al. in 2002, were used by the researchers. Collection of plant material, the leaves of papaya, guava, and taro leaves were collected at Pro 4 Poblacion Nabunturan, Davo de Oro, and weighed into 2 kilograms. B. Leaves extract preparation. The leaves was air dried for 48 to 72 hours. After air drying, the leaves were pulverized using grinding machine. Next, the leaves were soaked in 95% ethanol for 48 to 72 hours. Lastly, after soaking, the leaves were undergone in the process of oil bath technique which separate alcohol from plant's extracts. C. Collection and preparation of mild steel. The mild steel coupons were cut into pieces with a dimension of 2 by 3 centimeters. D. Rusting of the mild steel. The 2x3 two, two cm centimeter steel were placed in an aluminum tray and were soaked in 2M hydrochloric acid. The soaking process was done by 48 hours. After soaking the mild steel for 48 hours, the mild steel were washed and placed in another set of aluminum tray for experimentation. Soaking of the rusted mild steel to the plant leaves extract. The rusted metal steel were placed in different aluminum trays. Ten rusted metal steel were placed in each aluminum trays and were soaked in 20 milliliter leaves extract of papaya, carica papaya leaves, guava, sidium guajabalin leaves, and taro colicacea esculenta were placed in the aluminum tray for a different time ratio of 6 hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, 24 hours, and 48 hours. After the metal steel was soaked, it is then washed and sun dried for 24 hours and weighed after. Summary of the findings After the data were analyzed and interpreted, the following findings were gathered. Number 1. The post-test result of the weight of the metal steel when soaked in the papaya, guava, and taro leaves. Results showed the average weight of the metal steel in different plant samples. Number 2. The post-test result of the weight of the metal steel when soaked in the papaya, guava, and taro leaves. Results showed that the most effective plant sample is the guava. Number 3. 
The difference between the leaves in removing corrosion to the mild steel coupon. There is a significant difference between the leaves in removing the corrosion. Based on the data gathered, it is showed that the significance level is greater than the p-value. Therefore, there is a significant difference between the papaya, guava, and taro leaves extract in removing the corrosion in terms of its weight. This study will be recommended to following. Number 1. Consumers they can benefit to the plants for the reason that when compared to papaya and taro leaves, it is preferable to utilize guava leaves since they are the most effective and can be used as an alternative corrosion inhibitor. Number 2. Educators They should advertise this product to the citizens of their community as well as to their students because it is useful and effective, and they may benefit from it. The leaves are also easy to find in the community. Number 3. Entrepreneurs should aim to offer these items because they are beneficial to their business and can effectively prevent corrosion. The leaves are not hard to collect and they can save money from using it as an alternative for the reason that it is not hard to find and is very common. Number 4. In order to explore and find more, future researchers could try extracting more from different leaves. It also smells good, so when in the future you will use it, you will not be disgusted of the smell. That would be all. Thank you and Excelsior!